All right, The Great Search brought to you by Inferent DigiKey. This is a question from our TikTok, and this is what's going to be this week's Great Search. What type of brands ought to use for projects? I'm down to my last spool from Radio Shack. It's from Crying, Robbie. Crying tears emoji. Okay, Robbie. Uh, a great question. Um, because, uh, yeah, solder is not as easy as it used to be. And, yeah, a lot of people really liked uh, solder that they could get from their local electronics shop. And uh, I thought I would show that you can buy solder from DigiKey, which is... Doesn't like it's kind of obvious. Of course, they would sell solder, but a lot of people like don't think about that. They end up buying it from like elsewhere because they don't like you know your hardware store or whatever. When in, in fact, you can buy like pretty much any kind of solder you like from DigiKey. Um, so let's uh, let's go check out what's available on the DigiKey site for solder. Um, okay, so let's open up DigiKey, and um, so. One thing I wanted to show is the person asked, how do I get, um, you know, I got my, my Radio Shack solder. So what a lot of people, when they say that, what they mean is, uh, and I'll move this over here, they mean the silver bearing, oh, oh, sorry. they mean the silver bearing solder. This is kind of like a famous, not inexpensive, um, but really popular solder that was available for many, many years um, at, your, at your local shop. And uh, one cool thing about solder is you can, you know, solder is solder, like pretty much as long as you get the same metal uh, uh, contributions correct, like all the different metals that are inside of the solder, you're going to have the same experience, which is really good. So if you want to like get a pound of this instead of, you know, 1.5 ounces, it's possible. But here's something to watch for. Uh, so I went to DigiKey and I just typed in, you know, this says silver bearing solder. And I was like, okay, I'll search for like silver solder. And what came up was actually, uh, you know, there's a couple categories, but if you go to solder, um, you'll notice that they do have solder, but the only ones that come up under this search are these lead-free solders that are, and then you have to look at the composition, 96% um, tin and 4% uh, uh, silver. So let me show also only the in stock which is not what you want, right? This composition is not the composition you see in this photo, which is 62362, and it says here, tin 62, lead 36, silver two. And if you're wondering like, well, how do you know what all these are? You, you look it up in your periodic table of the elements. That's how um, these are labeled. So they don't literally say lead. Well, they still something say lead free, but they won't say like tin 8% or whatever. You have to look up the symbol on your periodic table. So having done that, um, we're real, and you know, if you look at this, then you're probably thinking, well, they don't, they don't stock the kind of solder. But it's not true. They do. You just have to know how to search for it. So instead, what you want to search for is wire solder. Um, and solder comes in like bars and paste and stuff, but we're looking for the wire solder style. And then click on solder. I'm sure like the British people are like, it's solder. Sorry, I'm American. It's solder here. Um, okay, and then let's go to active just so we, we only get stuff we can get. And again, we want wire solder, so let's select that. And there's all these different brands, but here you can see the compositions. And again, it's in, you know, chemical percentage style. So you'll have to like read carefully because there's like a lot of letters and numbers. And they're not sorted because they're, it's not a number. So going back, this is um, tin, 62%, lead, 36. So let's see if we can get close. So this is lead, 60, uh, tin, 40. That's not what we want. We want like, okay, this looks pretty close. There's, there's tin, 62, lead, 36, uh, silver, 2. Okay, so this is what we want. Uh, and then let's just make sure there's nothing else. There's a couple other silver ones with this AG symbol, but they have like more tin. We want the tin lead. Now I'll say this is, you know, obviously it has lead in it. It is not lead free solder. So if you are running a row house shop or you're trying to be a lead free operation, you wouldn't use this in production. However, I do use leaded solder when I'm putting together prototypes. Why? It's just like a, it is a lot easier to use um, and it's a lot easier to rework. Um, and if I'm doing prototypes, I may not have all the tools that we have in production where we do, you know, stenciling and we have optical inspection. So I might use leaded solder at home because I'm in America and it's legal to use leaded solder. This is the land of the free and the leaded. Okay, so apply to only see those. 
All right, so now we have a lot of options, but let's let's look at only the ones in stock because I'm going to order this today. Um, so first thing you note is there's a couple different uh, packages and a couple different um, th uh, widths of solder. So the diameter of the solder is also something you want to pay attention to. So you can see here there's half a millimeter and point eight millimeters or you know, 0 0.02 inch or 0 0.03 inch. Which do you want? Well, if you're doing you know, fine pitch soldering, usually you probably wanna go with, with 0 0.02 or even 0 0.15, uh, 0 0.015. If you're doing a lot of thick through hole, like chunky stuff, um, 0 0.031. I happen to like 0 0.02 even for the thick stuff, but like it's, you know, you can also try a little bit of each, but basically for SMT 0 0.02 through hole, I like 0 0.03. If you look at this, this is uh, kind of right in the middle there. It's 0 0.022, but let's just say 0 0.2, 0 0.02. You know what I mean? All right, so now we only have nine options. Um, so now the options are, there's a couple different suppliers. There's Chip Quick and there's Kester, and there's different packages. So you can get these little spools. Now, personally, I can't stand these. I always feel like there's just way too little solder. But if you're only doing a couple of repairs once in a while, it goes in your toolbox, you know what? These aren't too bad and they're inexpensive. This is six bucks, which is pretty cheap for silver solder. Um, that said, you can also, if you're just going like whole hog, you can get, um, you know, from Kester, a one pound um, a spool or from Chick Quick, Chip Quick, they also have a one pound spool. And um, so this is a one pound spool. You know, this lasts like a really long time. Like, you know, even I using solder all the time, I, this will last me more than a year. So a pound is quite a bit. That said, you know, if you really like this solder, you know, you, you pick up a pound of it for 50 bucks and like you never have to think about it again. But, you know, let's say we're, we're not like that. We want um, like this one is uh, one and a half ounces, 42 grams. I personally think that you should probably get about 50 grams plus of solder. Anything less, and I think you're just going to be frustrated because you're running out uh, unexpectedly. So let's look at the two and uh, four ounce, maybe also the uh, eight ounce. And let's ignore the one ounce spool, way too small, and the less than one ounce tubes also. Ridiculous. Uh, oh, another thing just to watch for is um, there's a couple different fluxes available. There's no clean, no clean water soluble and rosin activated. Now... Technically, I believe that the um, this silver bearing solder, even though it's not mentioned here, I believe it is rosin activated, which is a solder that's technically you need to clean off. And I personally prefer no clean. And luckily, when you're looking for these sizes, it's only available no clean. You know, if you really want to research whether you want activated, it, activated is going to be a little bit easier to solder and we work with, but it it is active. Like you should clean it off after you're done. Where's no clean, you don't have to clean. Okay, so uh, given that these are all no clean, here's your options. So you can get two, four, and eight ounce for about 12, uh, 20, and $25. The more you get, uh, the cheaper it's gonna be. That's just how it goes. Um, so it's kind of like it's an incentive to get a little bit more. But you know, this, this two ounce is still a, a pretty good amount. This will last you, uh, you know, a month or two at least, even if you're doing a lot of soldering. So I would pick this up. This one is my, my recommended. So SMD 3SW from Chip Quick, leaded solder. Um, if you are in, I just want to go back, even though that's my pick, um, going back to wire, wire solder. If you're in a, uh, you know, you're, you're Rojas, you are lead free, um, click the Rojas compliant checkbox. And then when you search, um, you're not going to get the leaded solder over here. You're going to get only the tin um, and silver. And for that, you know, the one I tend to use when I have to go lead free is this one, which uh, let me see if I can read off what it says. This one is uh, 96.5 tin and 3% uh, silver and a little bit of copper. So it's like one of these. But, you know, you can also look online. There's people who definitely have. I mean, like, there's going to be a lot more lead-free solder options because people are so 
picky and it's so difficult to work with these solders. Um, another thing, of course, you can do is just look at, you know, what's the most popular by uh, searching for stock and then um, reverse searching by amount in stock. So yeah, these Kesters and multi-cores, these, this one is pretty popular, this lead-free. So that might tell you like, you know, what you might want to pick up because it's like, everyone else seems to like it, you might like it too. But um, definitely, you know, if you're looking for lead-free, you're not gonna be able to get that nice silver bearing solder. You're gonna have silver in your soldering wire, but it's not gonna be the same solder you think you remember from when you were a kid, putting to get together uh, through whole kits from Radio Shack. All right, and that's a great church. Thank you. Where is